Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. And today, somebody approached me again about a 1320 project, and I went searching around for a way that, you know, this could be done easily and get a demo out quickly. And I found something pretty interesting that I wish I would have found a long time back. This is a very old Unity asset called the Racing Game Starter Kit. Like, who would have thought, you know? And in this starter kit, it comes with seven different... Or, not seven. Um, hold on. I can't count. Uh, it comes with... One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. I was right. I was guessing, and I was right. Um, how funny is that? It comes with seven game modes that are already built in, and a couple different tracks and a somewhat basic user interface so i've been messing with this and the code's very easy the way everything is set up is very easy and i wanted to make a video today showing you what i've basically added to this so what i've added to this already today just myself within the last hour of playing with this just to learn it is all-wheel drive because the game only, or the uh, source code only came with front wheel and rear wheel. I added all wheel drive, and I also added the drag racing mode, and I added a sprint mode. So sprint mode is basically like a single lap race, one and done, put your time in from start to finish. Uh, in drag, obviously you guys know what drag racing is. I do not yet have a 3D map created though for a drag strip because I just I haven't gotten that far into learning this system yet but I wanted to at least show you guys the demo here and how it all works so first off um, I need race manager so as you can see it's all just set up right in here very easily <coughs> excuse me player name I am setting my name because I forgot to do that so very easy you can add race rewards and stuff like that and they'll give you money in game um ai difficulty you can set them to whatever you want you can spawn them at random enable replays it'll actually record your race and play it back which is really nice and this is like i said one of the custom modes i added i added drag and sprint sprint is a single race one and done drag is going to obviously be drag racing and then these other ones circuit is your standard circuit race you can choose how many laps it is lap knockout is every time last position second to last position finishes a lap the last place racer is knocked out time trial is how fast you can put in a lap speed trap is just like a uh, need for speed where it's cameras set up around and as you go through the camera your speeds are added up checkpoint is the um similar thing to like the arcade feel where you have to get to the next checkpoint within a certain amount of time if time reaches zero you lose elimination i don't know how that one works because i haven't looked at it yet and then drifting is drifting you have to score a certain amount of points all your points add up there's multipliers and to get like a bronze, silver, gold medal is how you, you know, how many points you get. So I wanted to look into this and I want to also show you the cars. <clears throat> so I want to pull this up. So as you can see, I added all wheel drive. There's front wheel drive and rear wheel drive. So for, we're going to start with front wheel drive because I actually haven't even driven this yet in front wheel drive. Um, we're just going to go straight into racing. It's set up for sprint mode right now, no matter what I do, just because that's how I have it set. I haven't driven this this way yet, but it does have like fancy camera modes and stuff like that. You can actually like look behind you to see your opponent. Front wheel drive sucks. I don't like it. Um, all right, let's flip it to rear wheel. go the only car in the asset right now is the lotus the other thing is you can't rev your engine for the green light unfortunately um that's something i'd like to change myself as well 
The steering angle is uh, customizable. So like max steering angle right now is 45 degrees. Um, it was 30 and that just wasn't enough. Even then, 45 just isn't enough either. Oh, hey, look. Rollover physics. But yeah, there's names above cars for like online play, if online gets added. It's definitely a good starter kit for sure. Um, I The one thing I don't like is how speed works. It's a lot like Need for Speed Pro Street, which makes it pretty simple. Um, Need for Speed Pro Street... Every car has a max out mile per hour of 250 miles an hour. I removed that in a mod that I made just so I can go a little bit faster in game. But um, as far as in this game, the max speed was set to... <coughs> uh, the max speed was set to... I think 150 and I raised it to 200. But realistically, I haven't had a track where I go all the way to 200 yet. So, so far, that's pretty much what I've done. Um, let me show you the game from start to finish here. So I'll hit play. Oh, I left, hold on. I left it on rear wheel drive. I wanted all wheel drive for this car. So I gotta build it again. Uh, we're just gonna build and run. Doesn't take long, which is nice. So far, the entire game is only 150 megabytes, which is really good. Uh, we're going to do 1280 by 768. Let's get this moving here. I was making sure it was recording because I didn't remember if I clicked the start recording button. <laughs> but as you can see, there is the car here, which is nice. I haven't gone in here yet. You can enter your player name, which is cool. Um, graphic settings, you can control right here in game, audio. You can do touch controls, tilt steering, or auto acceleration, and that's for mobile control, which I didn't actually even realize there was mobile options for this. That's awesome. There's vehicle selection, which I didn't, I also didn't know that there were multiple vehicles. They're customization. Oh man, I really need to go through this more. You know I need to do it up in green. We're painting the car. There we go. But there are other cars. They're all Lotuses though, but they're all slightly different. This is the all-wheel drive version. So we're going to select that car and we're going to go race selection. As you can see, there's all these different race modes. I need to add... Drift and drag is not, or drift and uh, drag and sprint is not in there. I forgot to add it to that. Who would have thought? Um, we'll just go easy for now. You can do up to four racers. We'll just do one lap and start. And as you can see, here we are. I have my all-wheel drive Lotus Elise, which sounds frightening. Isn't the Tennessee Venom GT, that's based on the Lotus Elise. Isn't that car, um... There is turbo in the game already, I forgot about that. My god, okay, all-wheel drive is OP as hell on this thing. It's like the perfect drag car. Or drift car. Let's go! I don't really like the... RPM gauge and all that. Granted, I do like that it's out of the way like that. That's really nice. Um, All-wheel drive is so OP. Oh my god. Okay, this is fantastic. I love it. All-wheel drive, you win. I do need to... Jesus Christ! I do want to add the RPM gauge. Um, that's going to take a big learning curve to figure out how to do that. I need to actually add in drift racing or drag racing from a start to a finish. Oh, that's cool how the AI takes over and it does like a celebration back and forth. That's really cool. This is the first time I've finished a full race. I think this is the only racetrack. Oh, there's three different racetracks? 
Huh, interesting. I don't know what the difference is. 2.8 km, this doesn't... We'll buy it. Let's see. Is there a difference? Or is that just how to have multiple tracks? Looks like the same track. Let's get moving. <coughs> Nothing like getting off the line instantly with your boost. The only other thing I don't like that I've just noticed is there's no difference driving on the grass versus... Uh... Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's good. If you're not holding down the throttle... So the up arrow, you can't accelerate. That makes sense. Huh. So, yeah, this is a neat little project. Sure, there's more things I need to work on. Um, yeah, I did add drift and drag to this stuff, but apparently I need to add it to the user interface. I didn't realize that. Um, or the... I guess that, no, that's the menu. I haven't actually touched the menu yet. So we're going to save the scene, and I'm going to try to do this live with you guys to show you how easy this is to modify, or how easy it is to work with. So, car menu. Whoa, okay. I forgot how people make menus on this thing. They're gigantic. Um, so we see menu vehicles. And you can actually, like, control all the car stuff here. Okay, so that's that. Menu canvas, main menu, top panel. So they're basically literally drawing out the menu right here. I got it. Um, so what you can actually do to see other menus is you click this. It closes it, and then you can go that and you see the other panels you see the customization panel I want to add more colors that's gonna be a cool thing to do y'all know me I'm gonna do it I'll probably end up adding a text box in there so you could do custom paint and you would actually just type in a hexadecimal uh, number or something like that or also if you know me from my uh, unity hacking um, I like to add random colors where it's flashing the color, so maybe I'll do like a flashing color option from uh, my hacking days, which are never going to end. I'm not sorry about that. Track selection panel. This is what we want because it looks like we're missing really everything from it. Race settings is what we want. Race type settings. So that's just the race type text, race type text. How does it get controlled as to what the race type is? Menu manager. So menu manager, that makes sense. There's probably a menu manager in here. Menu camera, menu manager. length, race types. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting that I don't see... Hold on. We'll just search like circuit. Ah, here we go. So it doesn't know it by the index. So we have to add it, which is very easy. You go case eight, menu, tracks, tr uh, track index, dot race type, and then you do equals race manager race type drag. And then you do break, or you can, and then you do case nine. This is for sprint, and then tracks track index dot race type equals race manager sprint and then you do break 
that easy to add to the menu. I just want to do current document. Yep, that's it for adding to that file. And then you can just go in, you can make sure like player data and everything is saved and everything's right. Nothing in here right now is really set in stone. Like there's no multiplayer to this at the moment, so it's pretty basic at the moment. But let's go in and we'll make sure that, you know, I fixed what I needed to fix. It takes a second because it's got to compile it. So we want to have main panel selected first. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into build settings and I'm actually going to do um, open settings and I want to make a new folder for that. How do I do that? Having an idiot moment because I don't I think it's still going to compile to this folder and I don't want to compile the game to Oops. Give me one second. Okay, so that's the demo build that I haven't had any changes done to. And now we're going to build and run. Oh, okay, so it does let me do it. So we're going to do this like one race modes all wheel drive and then this is v1.0.1.exe save and this is how quickly a game in unity compiles i'm not even going to pause it so you guys can actually experience it and i'll show you how it comes to be because a lot of the times you guys see my videos and it's oh hey i'm modifying a unity game well it comes out like this so Here's your basic exe and data folder. Then there's managed. So you guys will recognize this stuff. And then your assembly C sharp. Now, obviously, mine is very small because there's not a lot in here. So realistically, it's not a big game. This is only about 150, 160 megs. So it's a really small game, which is really cool. Um, and then all of this is just the rest of it. So like here's what the assets look like. There's a readme for actually understanding how to modify it. Um, but everything that we need right now is right here. And we actually already have it running anyway. So we're going to go play. And we're going to see if I did actually add to that menu. So we're going to go race selection, circuit, lap knockout, time trial, speed trap, checkpoints, elimination, drift. It still didn't add to it. Why not? Huh. Well, looks like I still have some learning to do on the files here. I just don't quite understand why it's not building. It is possible to compile this for mobile as well, so I gotta figure that out. That'll be a lot of fun. But menu canvas... Let's see if there's something I missed, and we'll go from there. Oh, menu manager. There is this. <coughs> menu vehicles, there's three. Menu tracks, there's three. Body colors, there's five. I can actually add to this, it looks like, which is very easy. That's cool. Ooh, they started adding rims to this. That'll be interesting. Um, so what I want to find... That's the one we have up. Okay. So track image and everything is here. I'm just trying to figure out... Auto-rotate vehicles. Heck yeah. nine there it is that's all it took it needs to be nine I don't know why it's not letting me change it to nine nine hmm
So what we do then is we go in here, we search race type. It's got to be somewhere. This is going to be really dumb, but you can just search the number seven. Here we go. Nine. And you do the range. Nine. Save it. I didn't see that. That's my fault. You know, whatever. Nine. Now it looks like you can control it as far as, and yeah, you can actually even just test it in here. There we go. So even if I accidentally leave three here, it should lower that to one lap. Yep, it did. I just got to figure out if there's a way to control it, so... I don't know. I'll figure it out. But yeah, so this is what a sprint race would look like. You know what? Let's figure out together what an elimination race is real quick, and then I'll end the video. So race selection, we'll go elimination. Sounds the same as lap knockout if I was thinking about it. Ah, so time counts down. Every 20 seconds, someone's kicked off the race. Someone loses, basically. That makes a lot of sense. That's really cool. I like it. God, the tire grip is insane on all-wheel drive. That's cool. So, yeah, elimination. Every 20 seconds, someone is eliminated. Um, I'm going to probably randomize that because you guys know me. I'm going to randomize that. Um, that is probably in not menu manager. Not data logger, not player data, not car controller. That's going to be in race system, race manager. So if we search elimination, find it there, find it down here, time. As you can see, it's set to 30 seconds here. Um, let me see if there's another, <coughs> excuse me, calculate elimination time, because that was only 20 seconds. I would like to find a way to make it more or less. So what we can do for randomizing this is we're going to leave that as is for now, but public float elimination time equals convert dot to ah we don't have convert what would that be in unity engine dot convert no that'd be system wouldn't it system dot convert dot to Oh god, my cat's going off. <laughs> my cat is going off. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. How do I convert it to a float? Can I just do Oh wait, unity engine dot random dot range. We'll do fifteen F thirty F. Randomized elimination timer. Now we're gonna save that. Let's go back in game. We're going to see if that elimination work or that timer works. I'm going to bet that it's a little harder than that, but it's always fun to try these things. So, like, that time is 20 seconds above. Um, 
Let's see what happens after it counts down further and we get to the next car. See if it's a random time. Eighteen, seventeen, sixteen. It looks like it's always twenty seconds. So it is harder than I set it to. It is harder than just setting it to twenty. Got it. Yep, it's always twenty seconds. Whee! I'm so far out ahead, it's kind of ridiculous. Do the brake lights work? They do not. There's no lights there. And I win. So it is, it's going to take some learning, but that's okay. That's the process of doing anything. But I wanted to show you guys at least what I'm working with. And seeing how much fun this is to work with, I'm very... I'm actually like anxious again to learn this kind of thing, which is always a good thing. So you'll probably see live streams of me working on this. You'll probably see, uh, you know, more videos on this as I make more stuff for it. I think what I'm going to do tomorrow, because I think my girlfriend's on her way home right now. Tomorrow we'll live stream and I'll attempt to create a drag strip. Um, we'll actually make a drag racing strip and it'll be like a single lap race. It'll be um start to finish we'll make a drag strip and we'll go from there but i hope you guys enjoyed the video let's hope i can turn this into something even if it is just a single player game for now um because networking is definitely going to be difficult even if it's just single something single player right now we can turn this into something as a community so we'll definitely have to do that i'll talk to you guys later i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys are as excited to mess with this as i am Peace out.